My name is Tara, I'm a chef at Twisted. I decided to make a giant 14 layer strawberries and cream cake. It's perfect for any special occasion. I hope you enjoy. Okay, maybe not any special occasion because this is an absolute beast of a cake, but definitely have a go at it. I'm starting by mixing my dry ingredients together. Of course, I spilt flour everywhere. I'm gonna mix the eggs and the sugar together. I'm gonna beat them until the eggs and sugar are very pale, which will make the cake really, really nice, light and fluffy. I'm using a gravy boat to pour the oil in because <laughs> that's weird. Cool, so now I'm gonna alternate the flour and the buttermilk while making this batter because if I add all the flour at once, the batter will be too thick and I'll overmix the flour. If I add all the buttermilk at once, it's gonna make a wet batter. By alternating it, I prevent splitting and I make a very clean, smooth batter. I'm dividing the batter between four pans that I've lined with butter and parchment paper. And I'm going to spread them out evenly with an offset spatula so that each cake layer will be very flat. Cool, so these are going to go off to bake and then I'm going to let them cool for a while. I'm going to add gelatin to this icing, which I've rarely done before, but because it's a whipped cream icing, I need it to be really strong so that it holds this cake because 14 layers needs all it's got. I'm going to whip the cream, but not completely, because I want to be able to mix in the cream cheese evenly as well. I'm adding cream cheese, which is going to add a bit of a tang to the frosting, so it's not too sweet. Once the gelatin has melted and cooled, I'll add that completely and whip it until it's got really stiff peaks. Now this is perfect for frosting. Now for my favorite part, decorating the cake. I like to cut off all the edges of the cake so that I have an even layer for each one. And then I'm layering them with strawberry jam, fresh strawberries, and our delicious creamy whip. Because the strawberries are wet, I'm adding a bit more icing on top, which will help the next layer stick on properly. Now let's repeat this four more times. Get every layer as even as possible. So once it's all layered up, I'm gonna start smoothing out all the edges with all the icing to make sure it's all filled in. And of course, our kitchen was super hot, so into the fridge it goes. Oh, I forgot the cake. So I found myself a bit of extra time while the cake is setting. So I've made some fun strawberry roses, and they're super simple to make. I just cut down the sides of the strawberry and fold out the edges, and boom, beautiful strawberry rose. All right, so my cake has set, and now I'm gonna decorate it. And if you're anything like me, it's going to take you at least an hour to get straight edges. Don't be too much of a perfectionist like me if you can help yourself. I really like piping. I find it very soothing. So I've used a couple of different techniques here to line the borders. On top, it's a nice swirl. On the bottom, a nice shell. So relaxing. A couple roses that'll add to the strawberry roses as well. And now let's decorate with those beautiful strawberry roses I made. I'm adding a bit of dehydrated strawberries around the edges just to give it a little bit more color. And now the finishing touches, just a few silver candy balls. Here it is, 14 layers of strawberries, cream, and cake. So nice to cut. Wow, look at those layers. 